You know, I bought a fancy little remote control for the camera. I never can find it. So, God knows where it is. Today is Sunday. I don't have to go look at a gate. I don't have to worry about people distracting me, except for Don. We're going to tram this up because I found that it's cutting pretty pretty significantly. It's tilted to the right, the head is. Thus, when this uh, fly cutter goes around, it takes off significantly more on one side than the other. So I know it's out of tram that way. So I'm gonna tram it up before we take this off and take a final cut on it. What else can I tell you? This is in my way. I brought a very nice piece of equipment to own. This is a precision ground cast iron tramming ring. What you do is you uh, put an indicator on the quill, you clean off a nice spot on your bed, and you stone it so there's no little bumps or anything, and you lay this on top of your bed, and this gives you a nice precision surface to run your indicator around so you can tell if it's high over here, low, tilted. And this is a bridge port. I like bridge ports for delicate type stuff because you can nod the head. You can really dial them in really perfect. Now, you know, tool masters and things like that without that nodding ability are basically made that way from the factory. But I like the knot. I've used it a lot. So that's why I'm going to make that other one for my own personal machine. Let's get to it. We'll find where we put the rice. Oh, before I get started. I got a message the other day from a man that says, you're too mean to Don, or you, you're always downgrading Don, and it makes you look bad. And, and you know, I can see your point. But this is the way Don and I are, or am. This is the way we talk to each other all the time. Now, Don gives just as good as he can get. In fact, when he's not on the camera, it's even worse around here, so. I'm sorry we offended you. We don't mean to do that to anyone, but he doesn't care, and I don't care. So that's two out of two, so I'm sorry we offended you, but it's meant in fun. No set. Messed up my shoulder. Got me going to rehab though. I left it over your head, that'll help. Mm -hmm. I do lift it over my head. Not bad. Oh, that? Yeah, that would That'd be. Give me another six months of rehab. I don't think they'll pay for that much. Oh, yeah, it's a new injury. It's a different incident. Oh, thank you. Always looking out for me, aren't you? All right. I brought you a gift. What's that? The ring? ring? No, the ring is just your gift. All right, two. No. I brought shims, but they're not your gift. What the hell? You just want a little bit of everything, do you? Don't you? <coughs> what? Another can of WD-40? Hey, there's my remote control. <laughs> cool. You lost it? Well, I couldn't find it a minute ago. Now I can't find your gift. I don't know what I did with your gift, sir.
you imagined it. No, I just had your gift. And it's special. I'll be talked. Oh well. Look at this. That's the cover for that little fancy camera I bought. Oh. Well, Don, somebody has stolen your gift. Hmm. I don't believe there was a gift. It was a big gift. It was big, you have to see it. <laughs> we'll find it. Uh, three inches long, inch and a half, two inches wide. Oh, that's not big. Well, it's bigger than the one you have now. End mill? Uh huh. Sounds like an end mill to me. No, it's a stone. Oh. I don't see a stone. I just can't. I took it out of this box, went over here. It's going to be over here. There it is. The camera got laid on top of it. This is a little Indian stone. Is your present stone, sir. Yeah, I don't drop it like I did the other one. Don't do that. I mean, it's all I worn, it's all worn out. It is not. Look at that. It's all dirty. You didn't clean it. What a gift. Oh my God. Give me, a, give me your present, sir. <laughs> I need your present. Oh, you need it? Yeah, I'm, you, I, now you want to use it. I, yeah. Can I borrow your stone? I've done nothing with this mill, so I don't know what shape anything is in. So, you take no. your own risk. I've got another vice. Don't need a vice. There's a Chinese vice, but I doubt it's any better than this one. I don't need a vice. I need this smooth. For the ring? Yeah. Just because you trammed it over there don't mean it's going to be trammed right here. Well, sir, I don't want to take off that. And it should be trammed to this spot as it moves around. It's the head relationship to this. I don't see any big marks in this one. No. Nobody hit it. I drilled into it usually for half. <coughs> These are good sized stones. You can buy them from a McMaster car. Richard King introduced me to these <coughs> about 10 years ago. Cheaper. From Norton? Yep. Don says you can get them at Amazon a lot of cheaper. Um, and the master car cost you a fortune for the ship that we've been two days quick. Like, yeah. Even if you buy something for a dollar, it's going to cost you 20 or 15. But they're good. Master car has a lot of good stuff. You can get it quickly. Yep. Now, if you're just doing it for a hobby, it doesn't matter. Use your hand. Your hand can feel things that rags missed. You can feel all kinds of real litty bees. Unless you got a big old clunky dead hand like Steve. See what I see? See what I mean? Well, I gotta get you back, because that guy said you're always belittling me, so I have to, you have to, I have to step up my game now. You, know? you have to catch up. That's right. pretty good and solid. Not right. rocking anywhere. All right. You need this. Right? You know we're gonna need some air. Does the air thing work? I don't know if I ever turned it off. 
Not enough air. You can turn it off at night, that's what I... No, it's on. It's just that it needs down. It's going to run for about 10 minutes. Oh, good God. We'll go outside. Okay, Greg, where can you get it still? 30 years old. You need a bigger shop. You're here? Yeah. Have you done anything in here? No. Right. Eh, this little camera picks up pretty good. Garage door still not here. June 28th. June 28th. So basically, we're through framing inside, maybe some dead wood here and there. Oh, you got to brace it off. Got tech shield on the, the decking. Here's your pipe for your electrical coming in. Yeah, and I see you cut it because it's a bird nest. Built a bird on the Somebody, somebody built, a bird. built a bird on you, huh? You got two little babies in there. You got it going from this shop over here. And there's two little babies up there. Yeah, that's why I didn't paint this wall because I didn't want to spray paint them. Well, that's kind of you. So this is the only siding wall you have left to paint. Yep, and I consider that inside. <laughs> In the inside. So today you was out here working on the painting. I painted the trim. Got all the trim painted. I painted the side yesterday. Have you had your door? I told you not to order it from Lowe's. Not Lowe's. They have door ah, it's Lowe's. Not just Lowe's. They took your money. Did you get the Rock 2's permission, sir? What, to lean on it? To lean on it. <laughs> We're up to about 84,000 miles on old Rock 2. He's a bath, but don't ever have time. Didn't have any problems with it. No problems whatsoever. It's on its second set of tires. And that's about it. Lots of oil changes. The outside is pretty much done. Got the roof on. It's going to work out nice. Yeah. How long does it take that air compressor to pump up? When it's empty, it's just a big thing. It's all ran. You get those that. Not heat. mine isn't. Yes, it is. I don't think so. Yes, it is. Mine's a nice big blue one that's See, got a double say with oil splash. And well, mine does too. The two stage. Oh, mine doesn't take like that. No, 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 no. Because that one's a bigger tank. Have we'll have to ran. compare. You always want something bigger than me. You have an Indusaw ran. You get those that, uh, from Harbor Freight, the other one. No, it wasn't from Harbor Freight. Northern Tools sells Indusaw ran. Well, I had problems with that one because the head went on it. They sent me a new head, and the people that, the tech says, well, I know what caused it. And I said, what? He says, you have an industrial and you're not using it enough. That's, he says, you do not use this enough. They're designed to turn on and keep running all day long. You told me that on my uh, John Deere, too, when the, when the bat rear hitch wouldn't come up and down anymore. Yeah. Oh, you don't use it enough. I think, that was, I think that's the number 12 excuse. Number 12? I think it's number 12 on the list. Not using it enough. 
Well, he wanted me to buy an unloader and put on it so that it ran all the time and kept the, the heads hot. That was about five years ago. I haven't had any problems, but... Yeah. I got to get to work. I can't sit here and bullshit with you all day. Well, that looks good. Close in this door, you have more space for lays. I've heard that before. Oh, I need a planer. Oh, I need a shaper. Okay. I'm done with machines, but I need a shaper. There it is. <sighs> you like shapers. Well, let's make the damn thing work. Then you'll see how you like it. Piece of American history. American history. <laughs> So's mine. Breaking it again. That's just a piece of junk. Oh, is it a piece of junk or is Kirk, Kirk, make, Kirk makes another one, but not like that anymore. I think that was a failed design to have. It works. It just you can gets buy little, those little suckers yeah. real cheap. It works. It's just that it's just that it gets loose. I just have to put some Loctite on those suckers. I would like a different indicator. I'll have to That's see what's going. I know, but I'd like a different type. Mm -hmm. Unless you brought it, that knows if I had it. You did have a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. Just don't know where they got. How did you get them? Buying stuff online, eBay. I need this kind of indicator. I'm sorry. You had slowed it down. It I just up. increased it back up. Mm, that's it. That's fast. Mm. Yeah. I don't see a jog button on this one. No, no, no. That's the original with the machine, man. That thing's old. My last one didn't have this one, it had an upgraded model, and you have a jog button where you can go fast.
doesn't have that much movement it's on it. Tight. That was a forward way. You let it nod down this way. Mark on the. I expected. Tighten it up. Okay. Now remember which way you go to, to mm. make a move. And he brings it back. Oh. Well, that's way higher. You've maxed out the needle. I don't care about here. I'm still saying you maxed out the needle. It's not maxed out now because it's not touching. I don't think. Yeah, it is touching. Yeah, you maxed it out somewhere over here and crammed it up all the way that way. It moved. I didn't move, just by tightening it up. Just by tightening it up, moved it. Of course it will, that's why you don't... You well, gotta not just tighten one bolt up, because you're tilting it in that tightening. So it keep, to move it. I know, but you do all three a little bit. You keep it sucked up as much. Because right. you're only talking thousands of an inch. Uh, not touching yet. I know. Hold on. Not touching. But I'm thinking that it's going to be too much touching. Back it up. Because your range of your, your indicator said it went a whole dial and then it locked up. This ain't going to work. Come up with something different. <coughs> Not enough range. Came on it. This is what's taking so long on this job. Well, you know, I tell you, bring everything you need in the I've done that for seven times. And you still don't bring enough? I don't bring enough. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Drill press. We are changing machines. about doing a video and 
three second shots like some of these fancy modern ones do where it's three seconds, three seconds, three seconds. It's all it is, it's three seconds. It's for people with uh, TikTok disease. But it's like that and I was thinking, well I could make from the beginning of screwing with this nut to the end in three seconds. It would still, it still take be probably 15 about minutes. 14 days for you to get through all the three mm -hmm. People would want to all right, pulling out their hair about another bit. In the yeah, another no. one of these. This is yes, the belt belt, tensioner. The belt tensioner. Have I been nice enough to dawn today? Yeah. <laughs> Don't never get wait, horse wait, play with your buddies. Wait till you see the run out in that drill and you see how Then I cry? You're kidding me. Turn on, let's see. Trying to be nice, trying to be nice, trying to be nice. It's good just for drilling holes, but not precision stuff. Probably the chuck. Trying to be nice. Chuck is crap, Chinese. All right, so we now can't tap the holes because the mill's out of trim. Just going, we don't have an indicator. Can you drill the hole? So we move over to the drill press, which looked really good and got it all set up, but now it goes. Woo, 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 woo. There's something wrong with that chuck. You might be able to change the chuck. No, we ain't doing that today. So now we're going to go to what can we do? About it. So no, we we can do something, by God. I mean I'm tired of coming over here, then have a leaf coming over here. Leaf. It's the way I am now. We can put that screw onto the nut again with the old nut and make sure the base is the right thickness now. Because I brought shims to shim it up. And don't yell at the video of trying to tell me we had shims. I might have cut that part out, but I'm not sure. But that's what I was asking him for last time, shims. Didn't make a Christmas wrapping paper. It's a shim. Where am I? Okay. Nut. There's 
put feeder gauges that kill you from the rust. You're not rusty. Too bad. And then it's rusty. These were the ones we were using. <coughs> Somebody, I forgot your name, said that they damn near lost their voice screaming at the video last time, telling me to pick this up and put a shim under it and all that stuff. Didn't have any. Didn't have any shims. Dang, that thing is I'm going to give me one of the big red silence on the set. So, I even asked him if he had cigarette papers. And for those of you that don't know about, these aren't only for rolling up wacky weed. Yeah, I got cigarette papers. This thing costs too much. Take one apart. How long did it take you to think that one up? Huh? Well, that last, huh? well, that last time, but I didn't want to say it. Okay. Cigarette, cigarette wrappers are about one thousandth of an inch thick. They're wonderful. On this, the smallest blade is 1.5 thou. I use these checking straight edges. And Don, I'd like to present you with your own pack of zigzag. Oh, dang. So, there you go. Don't. I want to catch you out there in the field nah. making a alfalfa cigarette. I grow hemp for rope. Grow hemp for rope. I thought growing hemp was <laughs> illegal. Tell you this, it's darn. It's within about ten thousandths of what it needs to be. It's so wore out that I would think that it would be half of the distance if, you, if it, worn, it was worn evenly, you know. Another thing we can try is moving this down to where both of these are in about the same area of wear on the screw. This underlying support table isn't rigid. 
and this is kind of cattywampus. And I ain't worrying about that. I'm worrying about this surface, the bottom of those on this surface. So I could shim this up, or heck, I could probably put my leg underneath it, to raise it up if I wanted to. That is good, and even all the way across. Anything is just a hair higher over here. check that out by pushing down this table. See how pushing it a little bit makes a big difference. Right there is about perfect. And this one this is within a few thousands. I don't think that little few thousands is going to matter in this. So I proclaim the bottom of the base almost perfect. So that part's done, thank God. Take that home with me. to do is put this in that machine and show you what's going on with that because all I have to do to this now is mill the little oil well here but we don't know where that's going to go because we may change what we're doing so I'm going to take all this apart and we'll move over to that other machine For those of you that have never mess with shims. You can buy shim and all kinds of stuff. I usually buy one of these and keep around the shop. It's coming apart on me. It's a 5 inch by 20 inch and it tells you the different thicknesses by the color chart. This goes up here to uh, to uh, coral. What? I guess that's coral. That's 30 thou. And then it goes all the way down to amber, and then silver is is a half a thou. I have that other drill, I have that other drill press that runs for you too. That little one. Will it take that big of a bit without puking its that. guts? I don't know. I don't think so. I also uh, buy feeder gauges this long. So you can get into places and you can use it as shim stock to, to test to see how much you want. Big difference between Don's and mine. Okay, Don, what I'd like to do is put this on that machine with the nut on it. Yeah, I was thinking about that. That's what I was going to tell you. And then we have a decision to make on the oiling system. And we'll show you guys that too. Oh. I still think the old one's fine, but we can play. Try something new. You know, I use both systems. Cut it like the old nut plus positive drip it. In between those two, it will get oil. It will get oil. But the quality of the oil is what I'm going for. No, but no, you're, going you're to... acting like this is a production machine that's making a thousand parts. I'm acting like I want to make it the best it can be. That's <laughs> what I'm acting like. No, really. Why? Because it worked like that for years. Yeah, look how it worked. We're not sure that's what caused it. I guarantee it didn't get any oil. I'm not sure. So I'm uh, running all the way in the end. Who knows? I don't know. It might have got so credited up and somebody tried to turn it when it was credited up. And why would it get credited up? Because it sat in a barn for 20 years. But this is all hidden. 
Suppose somebody went in that barn and tried to crank on it when it was froze up. I might have did it too. I don't know. My point is I don't know. Well, we don't know. What caused it. We don't know. We'll explain the options to you. The, the, thing, the thing is, you put oil, fresh oil, in both of those things every time you use it. It's not oil coming out of the machine. But it's oil that is contaminated. Once it goes through those rails, any wear and tear on that rail that puts out any kind of little piece of magnetic type material that will damage something now gets dropped into your screw without that filter on it. If you put the filter on it, the filter gets gummed up and won't let any oil go through it at all. And you have no way of knowing that it's doing it. With the positive system that I propose, no, I agree with the positive system. The positive system doesn't need that filter if we redivert all the tramp oil away. Mm -hmm. Let's put it together and look at it and see I might, what. I might have to clean some of the paint out of here. I'll have to real quick. Okay. Get some real fine mix in. I'm waiting again. You didn't tell me you were going to do that today. I told you yesterday. Oh, well, this part. No, exactly. Well, every machine you have sorted it every turn. Yeah, I would spent 50 years acquiring machines, okay? For a long time, I didn't have to work in shops. Do my arm that way, Steve. It's okay, this thing's not light, you know. Not heavy. It's what you get for free Take labor. Your Take your time. I am taking it. That's far enough. Okay. Um. Trying to attack me. Prepared. No, one's tight. Shit. You don't have to put me this nut off. Where? Right down here. In that shaft. Good God. You know? <sighs> it's getting lighter. Well. If you were prepared, I wouldn't have to be running all over the place. Is there a pressure wrench in here? Yeah. Where? The Top. little drawers. Huh? The little drawers on the side. Top or bottom? Maybe a second drawer. Bottom. I get to. I, I, I got to get the perfect shot done. Yeah. It, it, smile while we're doing this too. Hey, when I drop it and bust into a thousand pieces, it's okay. Down. 
Does it go on take, afterwards? Take, take it off of here first. Okay. Now what? Let's see if I can get this. Pull it out some more. Does it go under it? Does that go under it? Yeah. Well, that's where it was. Push it in a little bit. Oh, wait. There's none in the hole over here. Hold on, hold on. Look at this way. There we go. That was a whole problem. Before we do this, I want to start some grease in this before we shut it in. There's a grease there. There's oil that goes in there. There's oil? Okay. Right now it's empty, but let's pull them out. Too high. No, it can go in. It's hitting There's here. a little something that's got to go in first. I'm thinking this needs to go out there before this. I think it does too. So pull that screw out. I think we need to get the whole thing out. This is a piece that was broken. I don't want too much. Well, it's got to go down at least a quarter of an inch to get into it. Yeah. And it's not going to when it's sitting there. Nope. So we rotate it, set it on the table. All right, take that other piece out. Probably. Hold this down. That's an hour and a half. I didn't say half hour. Hour and a half. Don's got a mind like a steel trap. He argues with lawyers all day long. I think that was it, and I couldn't get up. So wait a minute, where does that go to? That goes to lift up the table? Yeah. Can we? Well, how did you get it out for me to weld and fix it? This was a part. This was a part? I had the whole thing off of here. This thing was off of here. So you took the whole rod out yeah, instead of that? this was off. This whole piece was off. Okay. I pulled the whole thing off. But then you... And, then, and I was able to undo the... Pin on that side. It's a gear. Okay. It's a double gear. Well, in this case... You don't think if we push it in from here, it won't rotate? It could. It might hit this. It could. It might hit this, though. Well, I'm afraid you can't get it onto that stub over there. Yeah, because this, I got, this was broke. That's why it's cut out, because but, there's not any clearance, so they just made that casting like that. Yeah. So I had to take this whole thing off to get this out. Yeah. Because this one, this one, this one won't come out. No, 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 no. If you do that, think about it. What's going to happen? It's just mashing in more. No, 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 no. You break this. You're going to break up there where it touches. So let's cut a piece of two before. I couldn't get this out. 
I understand, but let's take a piece of two before and go from underneath this down to the ground. That way when you hit it, you're transmitting all the force onto the pin and not that casting and shift. No, that makes sense. Rebound. I'm just saying that thing is in there good. Well, still, you know it's there, I'm going to get it up. That's what we need to do. We need to make this to where I'm not holding it because my hand's about to go to sleep and my shoulder just wants to scream. Let's see, let go. Well, here's what I think we should do. We should push it in there to where it fits into that shaft over there. And, I mean, into the side of the cape the casting. And we're going to have to turn the nut over. There. There. That'll stay. That could be enough to hold it. We'll see that it won't take around. I don't know if it will. Good. Well, the only problem is we've got to have enough space here for it. But no, no. Uh, rotate the arm around. Uh, I don't you, think already, it you already got it started. I, don't think it it well. I know, but let's just see. This boy hit that. Hit that. Can you take this out? Oh, no. It expands. I'm going to try to take it all the way out. I like here. But it also it comes with it. It should just go into the cool. slide. Well, we're working on it. I don't know if that little camera or this would caught what we were talking about. This is the mechanism that turns the table going back and forth. Here, we have to put this part here in, and it connects to a gear over here, and that's what automatically turns the table back and forth. But this casting down here is in the way. And so we've got to take that nut off, do this, a whole bunch of stuff. Just need to cut more of it. We need some shim. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. First thing we need to do is see about this, because if we can't get that done, there's no sense hitting that. Well, that's, you got that on the board. It doesn't matter. It's up there. I felt it. It will go in. So what we want to do is drive it in. But I want to get a good picture of this before we do, so you know how much it's doing. Out. And I wouldn't take that punch and do it. I just hit it with the face of your hammer. Okay. Oh, it's got a spring in it. I thought it was a detent. Okay, well, they got something, another plug on the other side holding that spring in. We need to make sure that it'll go down below that. Okay, so we can get it out of there. All right, now we're on to this. I don't think it's coming out there. They move. They move. It's coming out. Cool. When you when you beat on things that are sticking a long way out like that. 
all the force is lost because yeah. it rebounds on you. Makes sense. So by putting this yeah. under here, we, we, we made it work. Good. Yeah. I don't know. Really okay. You gotta take the screw off here. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to remember. There's a bevel gear. Well, the bevel gear's in there. Yeah. What, what are you trying to remember? I think it just meshes like this on top. The rod's on the bottom and then there's a bevel gear on it. Two bevel gears? Right. So it ought to, a right angle gear. It ought to at least come straight out. Well, we don't want it to. We want this to come off. So then we can take this and pull it out. another chore. Well, where are those shims that you had to get that arbor loose? They're stuck. They're stuck. On this thing. That would make you want to Too much, we need to get a magic marker and mark which side this tapered hole is. So this needs to be on here, so let's mark it. Give me a, a like a number punch or something. I don't have a number. Probably been faster if we just loaded this up and taken it to my shop. No, it'd be faster if you fix your damn mill and you didn't need my mill. Well, I have a mill. See, it's been a fight for over a year. But I also have a CNC mill sitting right there that I can manually move a lot easier than that thing. Well, why are you over here? Because this is over here. Okay, okay. Probably okay. Good. Okay. I'm going to put a dot on the end of this shaft. Where's a scribe? Put on the top there, you it's going to get probably marked off with it. Well, we'll there's, a, it there's, a, there's a dot right there. We'll remark it when we pull it off. Let's see if we can get this off now. Come out. Right. 
Should I took the screw out and it's laying over here on this table. It's going to be tight to it. Those are tight fits. Personally, would use the channel locks or a screwdriver and see if I can wiggle it first. You can get a big one. Yeah, this is a Don't break it. I didn't touch it. The fan don't break it. That's the one piece. That you didn't take this part under here. No, I didn't. I on it looks like an Earl Scribes paint job over here. I'm not finished with that. I had flipped it over. Then we started working on the lid. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. Anything else going on? No. That's it. It goes in that. We rebuilt it. Yeah. Did you glue it in? No. It's coming. It's coming. I feel like Clark from Windy Hill sitting there tap, 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 tap. That's coming. Tap, you know tap, what? Tap, take, tap. take those little wedges and put right behind there. Let me just it's keep coming. doing this and twist my hand. Yay! I made a bronze piece here and bored this. This had this part made out of casting and it just wasn't strong enough so I put a piece of bronze in there. Yay! Alright, where were we? That now we're into fit. that part. That should fit. Okay, while we got it straight up, put that other part in there. Make line, sure we got to line up. There it goes. Switch it around. There it goes. That was easy. Yeah. I could have practice at that. You're going to have to come out with it, though, to clear this. You're going to have to do my shoulders. I'm going to let Hold the lead screw as it pops up. Okay. I got Yeah, but I didn't want to put it all the way in, but if this is all over, it's all lined up. Okay. So let me just put... What you well, doing? we're not ready to that point. I know, but I just don't want it to fall off. Oh. I just want to put some on it. Just so it don't fall off. That's all. Okay. You roll my chair through there, please. had to buy that for you so I could sit down. Let you scratch it up on my paint. I didn't scratch your paint up. <laughs> okay, I need like a, a six inch, eight inch rule. You have a 12 inch rule measuring? Not a ruler. Where's your, where's your level? Give me your level. I don't know, it's outside. I'm going to bring it back in. I don't know. Give me that piece of two before. Let's see. Let's see what I got. That'll work. Oh my gosh. Okay. <coughs> I know it's been hard for us to show you where this nut goes just by pointing it out. Apparently some people just don't understand how 
little room there is. So the way this gets oiled, would you hand me that other one? The what? Nut, the old one. This nut has been tapered here to where it's a knife edge and then goes into this little pocket. This hole goes through and feeds the oil to the screw. This is a tapped hole to hold a felt filter here. And it's not something to drip oil into it or meter oil, it's a filter. Because the way the oil gets to this is it's on now just remember this part. We haven't put it in this part yet. This slides along and sticks out a little bit out here. The table rides on this rail, this rail, and this rail. And on the end of each one there's an oil cap uh, that you lift up and you put oil and that distributes oil along the top of this rail. And then it has some cross hatches coming through here. I'd say it distributes it right here, well, just on this rail. But it does this one too. I don't think so. It's got top holes up there. Is it? That's where it comes from. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. It goes along this rail, it goes down this rail, and then it drifts. and gets caught by that, filtered in to this. But, but the oil is all, always over this. The grooves are always over this nut. So it's always dripping on the nut. It doesn't drip off of here. It drips right into here for, with three grooves that are angled towards this nut. And that rides with the nut. But those grooves don't go all the way to the bottom. Look. I know what I'm looking. Wheel it over here. So we can see these grooves. The nut is always here, so it doesn't get oil from the drip. The oil comes out to here, runs down these channels, and gets on top of the nut. This one right here hits the nut. We lit down here so I can see. I can't. Your camera's in the way. Move this out of the way, and then push this into its place. And we'll have an intelligent discussion about it doesn't drip off the top. That it drips much. off this. No. That's not where most of it comes from. Well, the way it's been going, and many of it is in there. Here. But do you see those screws? They stop. Yeah, but the... That's designed to keep the oil in that so that it spreads it along the rail. But that's where it's dripping out of. Most but it can also of, come here too. If it comes this. here, it's gonna miss the it's gonna miss the nut. It drips from the top and it's not even gonna go in there. But but look underneath there. See how all those curves are cut in there? Those are all oil channels. Yeah. There's four I'm just saying if it drips off of here, like you say here, it's gonna miss the whole nut. It doesn't drip off there, it drips on the other side. It drips against that rail. This one? Yes. That's where it drips out. I'm just saying, most of the oil in the nut is probably coming from these channels. It's dripping out underneath okay. there. It's dripping out under. Because you got always got a lot of oil in those channels, so it's going to be dripping out here. But if this fits here, like that, right? Mm -hmm. This channel misses it, that channel misses it, this channel misses it. This is the only one, and it misses it. No, I'm just saying, it's dripping. It's dripping out right here, more it can, than it's dripping out right here. Well, all of this up underneath here, look at the... Look, yeah, that's, put your, that's for the top rail. All yeah. that comes around mm -hmm. and drips off of this rail and comes down. Oh yeah, oh, look, there's a lot of oil because all of these in here were full of oil when I cleaned it Well, out. those pockets there are fed by another hole. That's this one. Over there. Yep. And the same thing here. Plus I got... See all that felt in there? I've got to clean all that out. But if you'll notice, these rails here, this has got a, 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 
A dovetail. Yep. To keep it from going up. It's also got a gear. But this one doesn't have anything. No, it's, it's just, just free, it's just free, free floating. That's correct. My point is, any little bit of trash can get in there, dropping off of this. They actually from the chips. They actually went to a few years later after this one. They actually went to a system that pumps oil in here from the base of the unit. Okay. That same oil pump that pumps everything through. So how did it get out of there? It, it dropped on the there ground. Was, there was a, another hose on the, on the bottom. Came out. That came out of, they changed the design. It's because obviously it sucks. Now. But anyway, what we're going to do it should, should help it. Here's what we're going to do. Show and tell, if you would. The, bring the parts you bought. <clears throat> In an ideal world, we could put a tap on this in a hose and run it from somewhere where it would direct pressure this or direct oil it. Yeah, it's not enough room. There is no room for any kind of expandable hose. The only thing you could possibly do would be drill a hole out on this side, make it a piece attached to this with a flexible tube that would extend out the side and back and forth as it goes. Don has vetoed that idea because he didn't want me cutting a hole through his wall. So, take two. <laughs> Come up with the idea of another one of these oil pots put right here. And then we're going to take a piece of this copper tubing, oil line, and cut off a piece to where it will go up underneath on this. See, this is sloped, so it, it, it's, it's not straight. There's not any room. You get down here and you're going to hit the nut. We come up to here say in a perfect area. We cut an oil basin inside this. We drill a hole all the way through this diameter, put this pipe in there, go ahead and attach it to the top so it doesn't shake and move around. And then put this cup on the outside, drill and tap for that cup. That way oil would come through here, go through this line, and drip into that well when you move this to the correct position. It's the best I could come up with. There's just no room down in here. You see how? I mean, there's nothing. This is the only thing I can get in there. Now we come to another part of the problem. All the oil that goes into it through its normal channels rides along up here. And believe me, this thing was full of chips, too. And chips and stuff invariably work their way in here, especially they blow it off with an air hose. Well, that filter, you can't see it ever again. I don't like the black used oil coming in here and getting in there and contaminate the screw. So what I was thinking of doing was instead of making this 45 here, take and put a channel along the top of this to where the oil that drips onto here would drip into that channel and then drip off the screw, miss this part completely. Chips and stuff could still make my hole clog up. Boy, this is a fun thing to think about. 
I was thinking about the tramp oil being the contaminant, which I assume most of it would be. And by putting a groove along this edge instead of a 45, I would let that tramp oil go away. I still risk the chip getting in there, though. What I don't like is there's no way for the oil that collects in those pockets to come out either. All these pockets in here, there's no way for that oil to come out. It just drips over, I guess it drips out when it gets full. Well, there's a hole back underneath here. What does that do? No, there's nothing there. Hold on one second. Okay. Those pockets were full of oil. Full of oil when I pulled it off. Yeah. I don't, there's no way for the oil to come out. But that big slot down here doesn't? I don't think so. Let them drain? I don't think so. No? It's just an indentation in the casting. Unless, unless there's some. There's a little hole here. See a hole there? I bet it's clogged up. That's probably what it is. No, I bet what that is is a hole that was drilled so they can connect those other two oil holes up there. It's probably plugged on this end. They're all plugged, I gotta pull these. No, I meant per, uh, plugged for a reason. To connect those two holes, they probably through drilled from there uh -huh. and hit those two holes there. Yeah, I see. I don't know, it doesn't look like there's any way out of the oil to pull out. Which kinda sucks, I think. But is what it is. Is what it is. Well, all of these, all of these felt need to pull out. Yeah. Clean well, these the here, those are all below this screw, so it's not going to hurt the nut. No, it's not hurt the nut. That's just the rails. Never hurt the nut. <sighs> all right. I'm going to defer to you. I'm going to give you two options. We're going to for sure put the oil feed line in to where it can drip. Pull it over to a certain spot, put oil in it, that'll oil the nut. Here's my conundrum. This gets tramp oil from up there. Any oil that's right, gonna... Right, right, right. It gets tramp oil here. Any oil that it gets has to go through these, the dirt, the chips, everything else, and then filter down into this nut through this channel. You'll never, ever, ever see that nut again because you're not ever going to pull this apart. If you die and leave this to me, I'm going to turn it into a flower planter. No, you can give it to you. You bad mouth it. I didn't give it to somebody that appreciates shapers. They make wonderful boat anchors. Fish have, reefs, a artificial. A lot of people have them in their shop and they use them to make parts. And you could buy these things for $50 until a bomb bought one and started putting them on and everybody decides I gotta have a shaper and look in the camera sir that's the number one person I gotta have a shaper that guy Steve Summers has one he loves it it, it does some certain certain things really good what are you trying to break now yeah give you a hammer and everything looks like a nail Just straighten out the well yeah it's all cracked <laughs> anyway back to this I, if this was my machine, I would get rid of that filter. I'd cut, cut the oil sump in it and everything, and I would not put this feature here in. I would take and put a channel across this feature so that all this tramp oil hits that channel and then goes away from that oiling port. Now, the only thing that I hadn't really thought about was that the chip or something gets in there. 
but I feel the chances of a chip blocking that hole, which we can make a much bigger hole. The chips normally from this machine don't normally go backwards. Okay. This thing was full of chips because well, it's it, not, it, it, it was next to a mill or something. It was probably full of chips because somebody blew it off with an air hose. Either that, yeah, that. They, they go everywhere. That or there was next to another machine that was throwing chips everywhere. Well, I, I found chips in the back of this thing. I know. It, in the motor. It's, it's, so it didn't come from the front of this mm -hmm. thing, okay? It came from another machine. Well, what I would do is I would enlarge this hole here. That's the oil hole. Mm -hmm. That way its chances of getting clogged up by a chip would be pretty tough. I would make this come all the way across and I'd put a channel through there. If all it's getting is clean oil, why wouldn't you put a, another filter pad in there? Because all it's getting is clean oil. You could if you block this oil from getting to it. Well, you just said you could make a channel. Well, if you do that, I mean, these are all, what, these are, what do you do? Questions. The problem is, if it just pours out in there, it's going to empty that cup, run out of the size of the nut or something before it maybe oils the whole beet screw thing. That's what I'm thinking. Of. You don't want it to come out too fast. That's what I'm well, it's a pretty tight screw. Right now it is, yeah. Right now it is. As long as it fills up the well. I figure if you fill that well up yeah. and then immediately go back and forth. I just don't like the dirty oil that's already been coming off of this thing going into the nut. When we have a way to make clean oil hit that well. You know what? You can't get the other part on right now either. I think both of those parts got going together. And they could. Yeah. They might have both to. Both of them together. Would you focus? We're talking about this. Hey, my brain works that way. Thinking ahead. Always uh, thinking ahead. All right. So what do you want me to do? Do whatever you want to. Okay. Bye. <laughs> See you later. I'll have this. I want you to finish the This nut. will be over at, at, at Galveston, ready to go on a ship, out in the sea. About 90 feet of water. It'll be nice. I think this needs a channel to keep the oil separated, make the well in it, taking both these things on. We always think of it as long as the oil gets to the screw, that's all that matters. Okay. So now, we need to figure out, you need to figure out with your covers and is there a bearing or anything yeah, to oil yeah, over here? Yeah, truss bearing. There's a little truss bearing. What happened? Is there a way to put oil onto that? Yeah, there's a way to put oil onto that. No. Or go well, through you this. You gotta take this cover off. The cover's on this thing. That's to keep the dust and dirt out of it. Okay. Well, we may have to modify the so that that cup goes in there. Why do they on this end? There's no, not they're enough room. No room. It, it, it just takes there's up no all the room. room. The only place is here. No room. I could drill it right here. Drill out the top of here. No, that'd be too far to go through. You, 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 then you would have to snake that oil line too far through to, there. Be too far to go through. I think the line needs to be about right here, the end. Just going to put a mark on there where I run the table. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not a hard thing to do. Nope. Okay. Well, we got to figure out what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. First thing is, 
got Trey in the middle. Yeah. <clears throat> and I tell you, I'm going to tell you again. Whenever you come in over here to do something, I'd have to bring my whole damn shop. Pretend, go through your mind and go, I'm going to need I this, did. This, this, this. I did. I then brought the tram ring. You had the, the, the clamp for the mill, the end of, you had a whole friggin' drawer of indicators. Except the right one. Except the right one. My point, okay. <sighs> you need to order your one for that indicator. They know I didn't have the right one, see? Don't even, still don't know what kind you're talking about. I will look it up for you and send it the link to you. Buy two, one for you and one for me. <laughs> I think that'd be the best bet. All right. I got about 15 hours of editing to get these little three second clips now. No. And that's all we can do today. What does this oil thing do? A little cup? Yeah, no. There's a plug over here. Where does it go? Oil something. Probably the uh probably the the up and down. The up and down table for the there's the no oil well there. Okay, you mean the elevation yeah. screw? Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and you got four oil in here too. Oil goes in here, goes up in here, oil everywhere. Well, there's hardly any wear on these ways. Except for the one that's in pieces. I'm gonna go play with my stuff. Say bye, Don. Bye, people. Have I hurt never you? Ending saga of the night. Have I hurt your feelings today? It's all Don's fault. Yeah. That. I'm gonna put it on the back of the T-shirt too, front and back, so everybody will know. I have pretty thick skin. It takes a hell of a lot to hurt my feelings. So you did cut down all my crap, but, you know. Well, how many times have I been over here to make a simple nut? Mm. The we 43. Don't, the reason we don't cut down your crap is because you, never, you take it apart and never work on it anymore for years. So I have any opportunity to cut down your crap. That's why I keep the doors locked mm. and the gate, and I have cameras. Mm. GPS tracker on your butt. Anyway, just fix it. I've been trying. God. Who was it when first I said, oh, look, Steve, the nuts all cracked up? No problem, Don. I'm making new ones. And did not we make the new one? We come over here and we threaded it, and everything was fine until we looked at the end of the screw and say, oh, crap. No, you did. I didn't even know that existed. If I did, I would have you looked, wouldn't have. I would have looked to begin with. Yes. I just did not. I just looked at the size. But it was perfectly. I, I looked at the size of the thread and everything. And said, oh, it's the same. We can use that. You know. I saved this piece of bronze. I'm going home. Good night, guys. Might as well tell them goodbye too. And no, Don's feelings have not been hurt by this episode. <laughs> <laughs>